Well, air conditioners around Maine are likely turned all the way up today. When the heat isn't just uncomfortable, it can be potentially dangerous. But it turns out this is exactly the kind of weather that overworks air conditioners, causing them to break when you need that cool air the most. NBC's Jiyeon Kim caught up with a repair crew in Kansas and found out their services are in high demand right now. Well, for Rocky Flores, every day starts with a handshake. No Good to no see problem. you. What's up? There's been a lot more of these introductions lately. The demand for air conditioning repair has more than doubled. When we see that, you know, the next week's going to be 100 or more, be prepared. Between the three of them, they'll be responding to 18 calls today. Madison. Our last job. Hot temperatures plus humidity is tough on any HVAC system working to keep up. That's why they say homeowners should do maintenance before the summer, before this happens. So, um, really happy I was able to come out today and get it fixed. Nicholas Platko owns the rental home behind him. His tenant called in the morning to say the AC went out in 80 degrees heat. When it's 100 degrees outside, that's usually the biggest issue. Like most repairs caused by extreme heat, his capacitor overheated and popped. I was kind of worried if I'd be able to get anybody out today because it's, I'm sure all the air conditioners are going down or a lot of them are. And, um, being able to get somebody out quick is his tough. A tough job for a group of tough guys. Luckily, we're out here in, in the heat so much that our bodies kind of get used to it. Even still, Flores tells me they're fighting against endurance. Yeah. Hydration and proper clothing is key to winning that battle. You know, with the high temperatures, it's kind of business isn't for everybody, but um, you got to really like what you're doing and you got to love your customers. That was Ji Yun Kim reporting.